Hi guys, today I'm going to be flying on the ANA business class from Tokyo Haneda to London Heathrow. This is going to be my review of the new room business class seat. I can't wait to get in it. But before I get to the lounge to relax before my flight, I'm going to check out Duty Free. A time to pick up some last minute gifts for friends and family. And if your family is anything like mine, they just love rice cookers bought at the airport. They've got all the classics, the Rice Hunger Digital 1.5 litre, the Zokiroshi induction heater, or the Hamilton Beach Digital Simplicity. Massive rice yield, but a price tag to match. I just didn't know which one to pick up. Oh my god, the Hitachi 1 litre with vapor cut technology! And for you minimalists who don't want to carry a full-size rice cooker on board your flight, there's always the NTSC travel cooker. The lounges at Tokyo Haneda are located just past gate 114. And... Uh, for fuck's sake. On a whim, I wondered if I should just get on another plane and go somewhere else, such as the PR423 to Manila, but I was told that really wasn't how flights worked, so I just settled in for some food. The lounge itself was great. 17 different toilet cubicles, and with two different things to do in each one of them, that's a total of 34 experiences, and I had to try them all. The food was mainly yellow squishy things, and brown hard things, and, and green things. It really was a treat. Unfortunately, my doctor had told me that I wasn't allowed solids due to the things I'd done to my body over the years, but I thought to hell with it, and prepared myself a midnight feast. Oh, hello. I'll probably cook some rice on the flight. I settled on beef burger and pork and squishy yellow stuff and hard brown stuff and the unlimited powdered cheese really hit the spot. Uh, the spot on my trousers that I couldn't get off for weeks. I eventually ended up leaving the trousers in a public toilet near Buckingham Palace for unrelated reasons. And so it was time to get on the plane. Boarding the plane was easy and I only had to look at my boarding card five times to remember my seat number. Glancing over to my right, I fantasised about who my new friend in the luxurious seat next to me was going to be. Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, Kezi Obama, uh, Malik Obama. I mean, any of the Obamas would have done. Turns out, no one sat there, so I kicked off my boots and began my pre-flight scream. The cabin crew were great, but they had forgotten where the safety video was located, so instead they played the opening ceremony from the 1968 Grenoble Winter Olympics instead. Brought back some great memories. The at-seat connectors were amazing. Two choices of audio out, USB, power, plus your standard PCMCIA, Centronics Parallel 36 pin, and of course Firewire. And with such a roomy room, it's a productivity dream. Though I didn't like the way my table looked at me with his one green eye, so I kept my sleep mask on for most of the flight. The free Sony Vita was a lovely touch. I didn't know what the toothpaste button did, but I made sure to press it constantly throughout the flight just in case. According to the instruction manual, this light would come on every time the pilot was watching you, which upset me greatly. Oh, Barack, you came! Uh oh, uh, peekaboo! <laughs> oh, hello. About an hour into the flight, I was given my lunch, which consisted of an entire box of cereal and an erotic cake. Real top shelf stuff. And then it was time to get some sleep. I mean, it would have been, except a, a common plane demon insisted on stalking the aisles. I protected myself by wearing my complimentary slippers as a protective wristband, Sub-Zero style, and I ate many face and body sheets, though I would have done that anyway. To protect myself from the demons, I closed my little door and bedded down for the night. My watch was over. So all in all, my trip from Tokyo Haneda to London in the new business class room, I give it three rice cookers out of three. Lovely.